All right, today is the day, number seven of the Arate Supercar Project. Well, if you last remember, we have just finished painting the car. And if you don't remember, maybe you haven't gone back and seen those videos, we recommend you doing that. At the end of this video, there'll be a link to start at step one. Anyway, in the last step, we finished painting the car with a nice glossy red coat. And the people are wondering why I'm even gonna say that it's a possibility of sanding such a beautiful finish down. But you will see that even a fine glossy finish in the paint is really not that fine. Um, maybe if you go to a clear coat and you do a flow coat in the clear, you could get a really good glossy coat, but we don't have that option. We're just gonna go ahead and sand down the red, get it ready to finish for taking molds off of. As part of that also, we will be putting the parting lines where the doors and the trunks and all the little attachments on the car are going to be and have those marked out ready for mold taking. Anyway, let's go take a look. As mentioned, that super glossy painted surface is not as really as smooth as you think it would be. After taking a 120 grit block and working it over, you'll see that there's a little bit of an orange peel to it and some flaws. Those can just be taken out with that sanding block, of course. Work the whole surface over and get it all knocked down to a flat surface and then go back to polishing it. We're not after a perfect show car finish. We're just after the perfectly smooth surface for taking the mold off of. This paint was a metal flake paint and once you uh, sand down the flakes, they just don't look right anyway. But like I said, we're not worried about that. We're just after smooth and glossy for a perfect mold. And once we get it all polished and buffed out, we are ready to put a release on it. And that release, of course, is going to be wax. A single coat of wax just is never enough. And if you had a spot that got missed, the entire mold would bond to your plug and you would be at a loss there. So always recommended to put three coats, complete coats of wax on. One coat, buff it off, two coats, wipe it off, three coats, and you're ready. This wax surface will just be a, uh, a barrier to make sure that a release happens. We'll also be adding another releasing agent between those two as well. But getting it all coated with wax gets us ready for the final process. Here it is, waxed and ready to go. Once it's ready to go, the next step is to mark all of the parting lines, the doors, the bonnet, any kind of openings you might have, fuel fillers, things like that. And here I'm just trying to get a perfectly straight line across the car. So I have a laser set up to guide me, running the tape along the edge of the laser light, put it down, and oh, that wax is pretty slick. That roll trying to get up, hold it right there. Yeah. Anyway, laser guides me across, putting this tape down just to guide me and using a Sharpie to actually mark the spots in the end for all my parting lines. A lot of parts in the car are symmetrical, like the headlight lenses. So I'm making a template here out of just some canvas and tape. Make that template up, put it on the side, trace it out, flip it over, mirror image on the opposite side, and you have your templates. Same thing for some of these other openings, the doors and hood opening in the back there. Anyway, the parting lines are ready. Okay, well that's it with getting the plug ready for taking molds. Of course, there's lots more things to come on the car. In fact, I've just come back from a wrecking yard getting some components for the steering system. Gonna be trying those in the car and if they work, then of course some of those parts can be replaced with new parts, but we're gonna use wrecking yard parts. And while I was there, um, Kind of like a serial killer, I took some parts from uh, the vehicles that we got donations from and I'm gonna use those to uh, brighten up the shop. Give it a little decor here. This is a uh, wall of tribute where all the parts from different vehicles are gonna be used to make this vehicle come back to life. Anyway, uh, hope you like the video. Come uh, back to see us again.